Hello friends, this is your Trendline Investor again, giving the Nifty Outlook for the 7th of July. So, just quickly jumping into what happened today. Um, so today morning we had a nice little nice little candle, big green candle during the open. Now I mentioned clearly yesterday that this is a zone that we have to be watching for because we were we closed right around this point yesterday around this zone, right? So and Today morning, um, I also mentioned that we should be taking a stop loss at 15, 8, 30 on the futures. Now I'm using spot from today onwards because I want that big week on the 5th of July. Um, uh, that big week is kind of troubling me from showing charts clearly for you. So I'm going to use spot uh, for the next few days before until we get more data on the right hand side. So we did um, open nicely today and then we just kept forming nice higher highs, higher lows. And the first half was very beautiful, but then the second half just was a crazy second half and we had a nice sell-off. Now, according to the plan, if we had went uh, long with a stop at 1830, then once we had this nice dip and again we went up, we could have traded a stop to 15, 850 odd. And then again, we had a nice dip and again we went up. So then you should have probably traded your stop to this level over here, right? So and the moment you had a close below this on this five minutes candle, you should have exited your long positions and it should have probably gone short because now we are making lower lows right and now higher high form here so that's the reason why i keep telling that you should uh, be very familiar with higher high lows and if you're a beginner also you don't have to use any indicators but just having this higher high low structure you could have probably made good money intraday a decent money intraday if not good money and also if you're a positional trader probably you have been holding your trade since this long away you could have held your trade until we broke this low here around 80 right so that's the reason I keep telling for beginners, try to understand higher high, high lows. It's a very simple concept uh, which can help you make money. Now, what's the plan for um, tomorrow? So tomorrow the plan is, now we have broken this key support uh, over here. So this should have probably acted as a support today, but then we had this massive candle and we kind of broke that support. But actually if you see on the charts, uh, right now we are close to this nice little support um, here yesterday which was formed on the 5th of July right so this zone over here is a nice support right now now tomorrow the plan should be that if at all we break down below this support and if we have a gap down right so then probably we are going to see some support around the 15770 odd levels right so 15770 um, 777 or 80 whatever that zone is you should be looking for any gap downs towards the zone to buy now wait for the first 15 minutes or for the first 5 minutes and then take a call. Wait for a green candle to be formed and then take a call and go long. Probably uh, I think we should take support here. Now in case we don't gap down and we are stable around here, then you can probably keep, uh, you know, yesterday's or today's stop as low around this zone, the 6th July stop. And then you can go long and expect to form again higher highs. But this zone actually looks very convincing to me um, as of now. I'm not sure what happens tomorrow, but uh, I told you what happens if we gap down what's the plan and if we stay, if we stay what's the plan. And if we gap up, then obviously it's a good sign, uh, which means this is acting as very strong support. Then again, you can keep your stop around this low and probably go long. But again, just taking you back to the longer term charts. Now, in case if we close below this zone, right? So in case we close below this trend line over here, then probably we are heading to, you know, this trend line which I've been drawing uh, very frequently, right? So, yeah, here. right? So we are probably heading towards uh, this zone over here, which is around 15, 650 odd, right? So that's also a very, very important support zone, right? So if you look at this zone over here, this is also a very important support zone. So just if you keep uh, looking at these support zones and if you trade every day, you could still make good money. Right, not very good money, but decent money, which you can keep compounding over a period of you know next many months or so. So that's the plan, guys. So these are the zones that you have to watch out for. So any cap down towards this trend line, and if we take support on the trend line, we have to uh, go long. But if we dip below this trend line, probably we're heading to this zone over here around 15, 740. There's also a gap, so probably you might fill that, and then probably we might go long. Uh, we might go higher, so you can go long. So that's the plan and in case we break this major trend line over here, then we are heading towards this trend line, which is a very, very, very strong primary trend line, you know, around the zones of 15, 450, 
right? So this this zone over here is where you should see strong support. So that's my analysis, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.